obviously, Dr. Martin Luther King did a little bit to fight racism in this culture. And he didn't was it? a socialist. No, he was a Christian minister, guys. He was a socialist. He said it himself. Yeah, fine. But that wasn't the bottom line for Dr. King. The bottom line for Dr. King was he was a follower of Jesus Christ. Did he do it perfectly? No. None of us do it perfectly. But obviously, Dr. Martin Luther King, in his letter from a Birmingham jail, talks about why racism is wrong. And the reason racism is wrong is not because some state or some economic system says racism is wrong. The reason that racism is wrong is God creates every one of us in his image, which means we all have value, dignity, significance. Racism is a denial of the value and dignity of a human being. It's that simple. Socialism is not going to cure the world's problems. Neither is capitalism, neither is communism. They're all different economic systems. And I, as a follower of Christ, will live within whatever economic system I find myself in, but I can promise you, I will work for the well-being of human beings, not because I'm a capitalist or a socialist or a communist, but because I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, and he commands his followers, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit those who are sick and in prison. Now, why do you, sir, value human beings as valuable? Why? What's your reason? <laughs> because it's our, in our collective material interest to, walk, to watch over each other, to make sure that we all have the basic necessities of life. Clothing, food, shelter, these are the essentials that are not being provided under capitalism. The very thing that you I mean, that you probably support. Let's be real. You sounded you... like a capitalist when you started. Excuse me? You sounded like a capitalist. Rewind the tape. What did you just say? You said, I am committed to the economic well-being of all people. Well, you sound like a capitalist. That's what a capitalist also wants, the economic well-being right of all people. No, that's all. All right, you know how many people capitalism has killed since it's Exception. Put more food on the table than anything else. All right, let's talk about let's talk about how many people atheists have killed. Atheism killed? Yep. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Was You're the most uninformed mother <laughs> seen on the planet, and a demagogue. Really? Yeah. Was 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 Mao Zedong an atheist? Yes. Mao Zedong people... was the leader of the. People. How many people did Mao Zedong, as an atheist, murder? Good. All right. Roughly around 100 million Mao Zedong, an atheist, murdered. How many people did Joseph Stalin, another atheist, murder? How many people did Joseph Stalin murder? 20 million. Okay. So, let's talk about how atheism opens you up to slaughtering people. Why? Why does atheism open you up to slaughtering people? It's the same answer to the question I asked you that you haven't answered. Why is a human being valuable? You've got to answer the question, guys, every single one of you, because you deal with human beings every single day. So why is a human being valuable? Come on, guys, that's not a hard question. We're valuable because God created us and God gave us innate value. No, we're valuable because we're human beings and we have an, in, an innate value that isn't defined by some ornate religious order. We are defined by our, our common interest in keeping each other alive. And the only people that want to destroy that are the enemies of the people and they should be destroyed in a revolution. That's what I'm talking about. All right, okay, fair enough. Shut the up. Is that respecting the people? No, I don't give Counter-revolutionaries are not going to be respected, and I'll fight to defend that I will fight in the streets, I'll fight here, I'll fight anywhere. I'm going to fight for the revolution, no matter how many mother conservatives come after me. You can kill me, but there will be ten more in my place. you all, the conservatives, enemy of the mother people. All right, now wait a second, is that, is that respect for people? Who cares about respect? They want to kill my friends. They want to kill me. They want to kill my family. Who, who wants to kill you? Conservatives and mega Judge, that's no, what I'm talking I've got about. Many the homophobes. I don't want to kill you. Nobody, nobody here wants to kill you, sir. Yeah, maybe you're not you alone, but you and your maggot judge friends. No, sir. No, you can't. No, nobody here wants to kill you.
the enemy. You're just being a does Texas State does Texas State give you guys a fascination with the f bomb? What's going on, guys? How do you guys communicate? Y'all are just attacking each other. We're debating, not fighting. Well, what's your fascination with the f bomb? Huh? What's your fascination with the f bomb? Why do you why do you sprinkle it so liberally in all your speech? Why? Why the not? Passion. Yeah, why the you gotta, not? You gotta use the F-bomb in order to communicate passion. I'm sorry, why are you espouting respectability politics? That has nothing to do with the actual positions that we're representing. Sir, when you Just because you wear a nice shirt did. and a sweater vest like Mr. Rogers doesn't mean that your points are more valid than mine. I am not Mr. Rogers, you don't have to worry. I was given this sweater, I didn't buy it, I was given it hey to man, wear. Hey man, I'm not knocking your style, I'm just saying if you're going for respectability politics, let's lay it all out there. Sure, I'm not going for respectability politics. Really? Because you just said a second ago that you don't want people to say A common term in the vernacular, really? All right, I'll tell you why. Let me. Why don't you ask me why do I object to that? Why do you object to it? Thank you for asking that great question. I object to that because I am convinced that sex is a beautiful gift from God, which means to trivialize sex is wrong. I was at the University of Arizona, and a guy raised his hand and said, I like date rape. I said, all right, I understand, but how can you justify date rape? And he said, I justify it by understanding that I have a very high testosterone level. That's why date rape is good. Yeah, what the that's a trivialization of sex and of a woman. And to trivialize sex and to trivialize no, 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 a woman. You're two points right there. See, that's no, a I'm not. trick. Anyone who watches politicians, this is exactly what the fuck they do. They try to manipulate their speech by like saying a bunch of different things that have nothing to do with each other and try to conflate the other thing in order to make it seem like the other person has that viewpoint. No. I said nothing about women. I said nothing about the sanctity of sex. I said nothing about it. I said that it's a common fucking vernacular. And the fact that you're trying to trivialize it and you're trying to make it look like I hate women or I hate sex, it's Bullshit. And you point. know it. You're doing it and you know no, it. You're not demagogue. doing that. You're lying. You're you are lying, sir. You're out of touch with reality. And that's sad. Where my country Very gone? Sad.